How you doing, man? Good, how are you? I'm well, what's your name? Matt, Matt Franco. Matt, what are you gonna do for us today? I'm gonna be doing a uh, card trick, doing some magic. When I first saw magic, it was on TV. I was four years old. I immediately, you know, begged my parents to, to get me a magic set, and I brought it into kindergarten for show and tell the next week. That was my first audience. One, two, three. Stephanie, which hand? Don't think too hard, I cheated. I'm just kidding. Like, yeah. My family all together has always been really supportive. My grandma in particular, when I was little, she would just sit with me for hours watching me do tricks. I'd get halfway through and something would happen and it didn't work. And I would say, oh, I have to start all over again. And she just happily sat through that for hours and hours, for years and years and years. In fact, she still would do it today. <laughs> Hi, Grandma. <laughs> Cool. What's going to separate you from all the others we've seen? Well, I'm doing something that you've never seen before on America's Got Talent. Or really? Anyway, I'm telling a story that I wrote about this show. At 25 years old, I'm still just as obsessed with magic as I was when I was four. I love it. I've never been in front of an audience like this before. I'm pretty nervous, but if I'm not ready now, I'm not sure if I ever will be. Three. Ready, Matt? Let's do it. We'll get him. Wow. Hi. Hi. How you doing? Good. Welcome to America's Got Talent. Thank you. Uh, what's your name and what are you going to be doing for us today? My name is Matt Franco and I'm going to do some magic. When did you start getting into magic? At what age? I started becoming fascinated with magic when I was four years old. Four? Yeah, I saw a magician on TV and I would record every magic show on the old VHS and I would uh, watch them over and over in slow motion to try to figure out how to do the tricks. That's how I learned. Wow. Wow, so you're self-taught? Yes. Well, I think we're excited to see it. Good luck and enjoy yourself. Thank you. Uh, I wrote a story just for you guys. It's a close-up trick. If you don't mind, I'm going to join you at the table. Yeah, yeah. Okay. come on over. <laughs> Now, please, keep in mind, what you're about to see is going to be done with a genuinely shuffled deck of cards. It's a story about season nine of America's Got Talent, with Howard Stern, our king of media, America's sweetheart, Heidi Klum, Mel B, our queen of pop, and of course, our favorite, Joker. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Nick, I haven't forgotten about you. You really are a jack of all trades. Jack of all trades. Me, I'm 25 years old, and sad as it may sound, this whole magic thing has pretty much consumed my life all the time, like 24-7. Since I was about four years old, see, people often ask, where do you see yourself in 10 years? But even just five years ago, I never guessed that I'd be here on season nine of America's Got Talent, hoping to hit the wow. jackpot in front of an amazing full house audience here at the Dolby Theater. Forget the address here, number 6801. Of course, I don't have a zero in a deck of cards, so sometimes I improvise. I never Whoa. thought I'd be here across from the great Howard Stern. Now, Howard, I gotta be honest. I know these cards. This king here doesn't really look like you. In fact, in my opinion, all of you judges look much better. One, two, in the flesh. <laughs> yup, even you, Howard. Oh, oh you my all, God. You all look great. You look great dressed to the nines, but don't get me wrong, I'm not just up here to be kissing your aces. Oh. Well, except for maybe you, Heidi. See, you do have undeniable six appeal. We all know that. But it's you, Mel B, that I've always had the hots for. You see, you were part of the Spice Girls. The only group in history to have four consecutive number one hits since the legendary Jacks and Five. Oh, 